Get a little work done before the day. Today is Big Cypress National Preserve, Swamp Buggy. And then tonight we're going on a night boat tour. This was our 2,000 mile round trip from Nashville, Tennessee to Everglades National Park. I did a video about the getting there and getting back in a two-year update because this is we've been RVing for two years. We saw lots of areas. We started off on the Everglades city side and wound up down at the Flamingo side in South, South, South Florida. Fun trip. We got two people here. It is go swamp buggy time. These other two don't know how to be on time. <laughs> Emmeline, how'd you, how'd you feel about the tent? Is that the greatest night of your life? It's all right. It's all right. As long as I have my earplugs, that's fine. Did you have earplugs? I had, I had one in at a time, yes. and then I lost one in the middle of the night. Did you keep them from the airboat tour? Yeah. <laughs> it's like wise, actually. We got Victor and the swamp buggy. That's a piece of machinery right there. So do you want to sit on the white thing up in the front? Sure. So with the Monroe, I guess it's like an off-road vehicle place because there's big parking lots for off-road vehicles. Alligator right here. Two of them. Right here. This is about 800,000 acres. Which is roughly 1,200 square miles. There's a lot of property. And this big rock you're filling is going over. It's called cap rock. It's a limestone base where the bottom of the ocean, a million years ago. That's a wood stork. That tree right here. It's huge. Yes. There's only like 3,000 breeding pair left. So first of all, the swamp buggy. Victor, Victor's my buddy now. <laughs> Victor built the swamp buggy himself. So that was a homemade creation. <laughs> he reminded me of my granddad building just something out of just scraps. Um, he also said that a few weeks ago, this entire trail was underwater. Uh, and most of it was dry this time because we were in the winter uh, dry season. And as we went further and further back, uh, so the puddles got bigger. The soil, it turned from rock to kind of sand. And the puddles, they, become, they got huge. At one point, uh, we went through one that was so deep that it stalled the motor out. And we, were, we had been going for a couple of hours at that point. And I was very scared that <laughs> we would not be able to start and we were going to be walking back. But Victor saved the day. He got it started. So it was a very fun ride. It was very relaxing. I mean, you're just riding out in the middle of nowhere for hours. Um, by the end of this thing, Victor and I, we're like best friends. <laughs> I want to be Victor's best friend anyway. Guy's fun. <laughs> very fun to talk to. Hundreds of thousands of them. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Swallows. Look, they're just going in a big circle. And he saw more of them yesterday. Hundreds of thousands. I'll reach down there and grab that a snake. Like, uh, I'm no, a I ain't grabbing no snake. Yeah. They got a Wrangler Splash. You want to take one? No, I don't. What? You're way too adventurous. <laughs> Come a snake Wrangler. <laughs> you got to get a class and get he a license. Just, he just wants it so he can get the business card, but he doesn't want to actually do it. Yeah, I just want to do the Python class so I can have a business well, card that says Joey Dean Python. You actually got to get the card. Do you? Oh, do you really? Yes. No, I they just teach want the you card. To, no, they teach you to go out there and catch snakes. I wanted to say Python hunter, bounty hunter. You know. I'm going to tell you, I come back and did one trip. They were still there. Oh, God, we're almost out of gas. I did a second trip. Come back. It was there. 
This part of the tour where yeah. Victor's gonna run out and wrestle the alligator for us. Go for it. The bigger, the tip will go up. Dad joke time. Why did the swamp buggy cross the road? To get to the other side. Night, big cypress boat tour. We're gonna do sunset. Two and a half hours. Got the mosquito spray. So we're going on a night boat trip. We're kayaking and we're canoeing, adventure canoeing. <laughs> we're not. We're getting in a big flat boat that's already down in the water. I'm an adventurous soul and I didn't want to be kayaking on a river in the middle of the night. <laughs> and I'm. I don't want to be in charge of it. So this is called a pan boat. This is a boat that was traditionally used out here in Florida Everglades for hunting, fishing, moving cargo. So, it's the minivan of the day. <laughs> so this flat bottom boat was a little more, it was less high tech than the swamp buggy and way less redneck, but still fun. Which bank? In those little weeds. He's right up right the behind there. that branch. I dare you to do that with a bigger one. <laughs> so after we saw the alligator right there by the road, we started to head up the Turner River. And so we, I booked this with uh, Everglade Adventure Tours. And they do all kind of tours. And they run this night tour um, during certain parts of the year. Usually during the winter when the bugs aren't as bad. Um, they don't run this all year. Um, and they do, you just basically ride in this flat bottom boat. And the guy, it's a pole boat, so he's he's basically up on the back. I mean, I felt like we were in Venice uh, being pushed around. We sang a little, <laughs> la, 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 la. Um, it was very relaxing. We were just sitting in chairs in the bottom of this flat bottom boat. And after we got going, you kind of go, well, we started off up at the campground, which is just right up the road from where you put the boat in. And we met the guide there. We pulled out, and he was pulling a truck with a trailer full of kayaks. And we, we, we all collectively were freaking out at that point. <laughs> because the last thing, we were already freaking out because of alligators and snakes and all this stuff. And the last thing we wanted to be responsible for in the dark, in a swamp that we had never been in before, was having to navigate our own boat. And so we got there and he assured us, no, you're not going to be on those. They were just pulling those from tours during the day. And I've already got your boat down in the water. And we went down and got in. So you kind of get in at this little, it's called the Turner uh, River Kayak uh, Landing Station. And you kind of go up, you, you follow the road up to the Turner River. And then you just go back the Turner River. And it's kind of narrow. Um... And the, and the river goes further, but it winds up, it collects in a lake up at the uh, north side of the tour. And very pretty. 
And that's where it kind of got dark on us. We saw the sunset and we kind of went to the very end of the lake and he, he just pegged us right into the end of the lake where we wound up at a big cypress tree. And at that point we turned around and started to head back. We watched the sunset while we were still on the lake. And then we got back on the Turner River and started heading back south. And that's when it got dark and we got our little headlamps out and we started to look for alligators. We would look for the red dots on the, of their eyes that were reflecting off the lights. And the guide was funny. He would, if we saw one, he would just beeline straight to it and we would run into the bank and I don't know what, I guess he was trying to run into the alligator (laughs) or get him to jump into our boat or something. I was less keen on that part, but regardless, it was uh, fun and we saw tons of alligators and Emily kept shining the light on me, which would make millions of bugs come and land on me. And I love her for that. It's the tree of Yargasil right there, the tree of life. No, it's a, <laughs> obviously it is an old growth, big cypress tree. Um, you see the top it got blown off during one of the storms, but that's probably why they didn't bother to harvest it when they logged this whole area. You also look in there, you see all the cones sticking up. Those are the knees. That's all part of the root system of that tree. Oh, wow. All right, we're heading back. It's going to be dark when we get there. Here you see a lot of bugs just hitting the water out there. Might put a one-two on your cheeks. Are you scared? I know you're scared. Okay. <laughs> Hold my hand. <laughs> Where did the giant river go? Oh my goodness. I was about to say, I feel like we're in a Disney movie. It's actually worth a 15 foot alligator. Oh, it went under. If he just appeared like right next to me. Ape, for sure. <laughs> Skunk ape. And now we've got pirates coming up on our left. <laughs> Kayak pirates. We're not the guns. <laughs> 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 it's working hard. <laughs> the spider in the tree. <laughs> Bond with nature. <laughs> We're very interactive. It's <laughs> very hands on. Very, you know, you're not going to get this kind of interaction in the metaverse. I'm just. <laughs> get more of those knees off those cypress trees there. Oh, yeah. That sounds ominous. <laughs> I was going to say that's the sound of a gator measuring his dinner. 